When I transitioned to IMV, I had been previously working as an equine vet in practice. So there was a lot of development um, in my role on dealing with, you know, more business aspects of uh, my career. So not just looking clinically at the role, but also learning how you integrate that with um, sales, with servicing, um, with sort of key accounts within territories um, and often dealing with, you know, multi um, departments, um, which is not something that I was used to before. So it's taking that all on board while still retaining um, my clinical knowledge. Since joining as, a, as an undergraduate and doing my placement, it helped me uh, get a really, um, a, good, a really good master's degree. Um, and then after joining, there's been a lot of opportunities for um, training and development, both in terms of technical and non-technical skills. IMV have been great and really supportive. Um, so I was already doing some kind of further qualifications when I started with IMV and they were very um, passionate and um, very much encouraged that they wanted to kind of further support me in that. Um, so I'd started off doing some postgraduate qualifications um, through the University of Liverpool um, and IMV helped me kind of develop that into a master's uh, and it was a master's looking at kind of where veterinary and clinical business kind of meet, uh, which is an area that I'm really kind of interested in and um, I have had a lot of support along the way and that's been really kind of um, really important um, uh, in my development. I've learned an awful lot from my fellow board members you know we have lots of different learning experiences from our different backgrounds and history types there uh, but I've also been able to um, to join a Vistage Business Skills Group and um, so this gives me an opportunity not just to listen to, to high quality speakers who can help me understand how to get the best from our people and how to get the best from our business to deliver for our customers but also for me to learn from other business types business leaders um, of similar kind of um, on similar kind of peer levels across different businesses across Scotland. To start off with, I did evening courses, so I didn't really need time off. But when it came to a bit more serious sizing like the HND, then I needed to actually go into college on a full day, so I was given day release, uh, which was really helpful. It's been really interesting. Um, not only do you get the support of the, the kind of senior managers and directors within the company, but the teams around you, um, so my own service team, have supported me through my own uh, journey. Uh, going from an engineer to a manager is a totally different experience. Um, so having a team that support you through your kind of early management career has been great as well. But also the expertise within the business, being able to rely on the you know the managing director to give you expert advice, you know, from his experience but also people from other industries that, that have been able to give experience as well has been it's been really good.